Ayan, good morning everyone. Pasensya na if natagalan ako mag-start kasi I had to share the videos. Uh, ako lang kasi yung technical, ano ko eh. Ako lang kasi yung technical na... Ako lang nag gumagawa ng technicals ko all by myself. Pasensya na if ang background ko medyo magulo. Uh, I was doing something last night. <laughs> Anyways, good morning, good morning everyone. Good morning to... My daughter, Laika. Ayan. So, we're, today we're gonna be talking about risk management in trading. Plus, yung mga recommendations. So, nga pala, ABBA. Right? So, mga, so mga pumasok kay ABBA, dalawa yung entries natin doon, ha? I hope you could ha you have bought more at the support. Kasi, ang tagal-tagal ko nang nire-recommend yan si ABBA. Dalawang beses na yung nanalo. So, and those are just not small wins. Those are big wins, di ba? So, we'll talk about that in a while. So, good jobs and enjoy your earnings sa mga nakapasok kay ABBA. And so we're celebrating that now. Um, before we continue, just wanna read your comments. Ang if you're if you just watched the video, uh, as a replay, uh, the topic about risk management and trading, uh, should be uh in uh, around 20, 25 minutes, right? You just fast forward the video twenty five minutes from the start, cause. That's when the topic will start as this uh, as this video is recorded live, right? So before we go that, uh, go to our topic. Let me read the comments of the people and mga requests. If you have any chart requests, heads up lang, because we have a topic today. But uh, I won't be able to read most of your requests as much as possible. We will do that, right? So Rex Hardinero, good morning. Joel Garres, good morning. Sir Lloyd and Laika, good morning. Then Jason, read Rodrigo Calio, Calos, uh, Jovi Tanel, good morning. Sir Lloyd, Tugs, IDC, CPG, and ABBA. All right, we'll talk about that. Si Tugs and IDC, especially CPG, and dyan naman si Top Fix. So yun, yun dalawang wala sa Top Fix ko. I'll just write them down. Right? Um, Eliezer Loring, good morning. Austin Camacho, good morning, Sir Lloyd. PIP. 
TAGS and STI. Okay. As about PIP and STI. O, si STI, tumitigil na yung pag-akyat. Stay away from it for now. Wait for the retracement before you really wanna get in. Bull and Bear, good morning, mga sir. Uh, Rodrigo Carlos, CLC and now. CLC. Now. Ay, nakala nga. CLC and now. Ellie Flores, I hope everything is okay. Uh, let me just double check. Uh, around. All right, very good. Um, good. Um, Ellie Flores. Uh, good morning, Bloom Tech and Annie. Bloom Tech and Annie. Yan. Um, Michael Aquino. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. PXP po. Yan nasulat na natin si PXP. Oh, not yet. All right, PXP. All right. Uh, good morning, Master Lloyd. Thank you for doing this every day. You're welcome, Hops. Bernard Veloso, good morning, Sir Lloyd. IRC, IRC is still there. Hindi pa gumagalaw kasi wala pang, ano eh, wala pang, uh, wala pang news, di ba? Uh, IRC kasi, let's talk about IRC for a bit. Um, si IRC kasi, um, nakaano lang mga tao, nag-aantay, right? So, nag-aantay lang ng news. Walang gusto magbenta ng mababa, wala rin gustong bumili muna ng mahal kasi andon yung uncertainty. But, I strongly recommended na pumasok na kayo, especially dun sa mga dip, di ba? Bumabagsak siya ng konti. That will be our entry point. Dapat. Um, before that, guys, yung 166 watching today, a little request, uh, please share the video para mas marami, mang, ma, ma, mas marami pang traders makakaalam sa program na ito. Share it to your walls and share it to your trading groups if you have any. So that yung mga newbies, especially yung mga newbies, wag na natin, uh, we're not really aiming for those who are already good in trading for this. At least yung mga newbies, um, malaman nila na may mga program na ganito that will help guide them in their stock market journey. Right, so please share the video. Yun lang yung request ko in, um, in return. I hope I've earned that. Um, <clears throat> Bernard Veloso, good morning, Sir Lloyd. IRC, yan, si IRC, nag-aantay lang mga tao. Um, Brilliant Uncon, good morning po, PLC and Vita, PLC. Vita, yun. So, very good picks. Michael Renz Valdez, good morning po, Sir Lloyd. SBS po and SMPH. Right, I'll write this down, okay? But I can't assure you na makaka-cover natin yan ngayon. Um, good morning from Singapore. We'll do our best para ma uh, para ma-cover natin. Roger Aguilar, uh, Rex Hardinero, PLC po, sir. Thank you. God bless. You're welcome. Hops, sir. Inputs po for Ion. If accumulation time na ba? Let's talk. Uh, let's check out Ion. Right? Ionix. <clears throat> Asan ako? Um, Ryan Concepcion, good morning, <clears throat> Sir Lloyd. SMPH, boy, si SMPH nag nagbreak na support kahapon, but the break wasn't that much, so okay pa rin si SMPH for me. Marshall Law, good morning, Sir Lloyd. X and MPI po, X and MPI. Alright, we'll covered the most that we can <clears throat> today. <clears throat> Sentiment na medyo masakit lalamunan ko today. <clears throat> MRC from Jason. Um, Addison, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Mel Dizon, good morning, Sir Lloyd from SG. What's your take on Meg and PIP? Uh, what's your take on Meg and PIP from, I know, from Mel Dizon? All right, these down. Si PIP, nasulat na natin yan eh. So, tanggalin ko muna. Right, so next up is, ayan, from Singapore pala si Mel. Good morning sa inyo, mga kapatid nating OFWs from Singapore. Good morning sa inyo, Jason, GT Cap and Poppy. GT Cap and Poppy. Right? Um, Folaika, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning din. Argel, asa na yun? Mm. Argel Mendoza, good morning, Sir Lloyd. IRC, STI, and BPI. Uy, si BPI. Ang ganda ng movement ni BPI. Oh, was that BPI? Hindi, si PNB. Nasa list ko ngayon si PNB. Hindi ko nga lang na-upload pa sa website. Um, but yeah, we'll talk about the, those things. Um, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Sec B, please. Thank you. From Lesson English. Uh, Fernando Tablate, good morning. Hop, sir, if you can choose one to invest long term, what will you choose? SMPO, uh, SMPH, BDO, and SM. I go for SMPH, right? Because I know SMP uh, BDO is under SMPH, so andun lang andun ako sa mas mas mother company niya. So I'd go for SMPH, and then um, kasi hindi eh, um, it's really hard to compete with SMPH BDO. Marami na ibang banks na um na compete sa kanila. So I I think SMPH 
Sis growth will be much bigger, uh, much faster. Si SM kasi mas, mas, medyo malaki na eh, di ba? So, I'd go for SMPH, right? Um, Fernando Tablate, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning then. Lesson English, good morning, Sir. Sec B, please. Thanks. Uh, let's, let's write down Sec B. Yan, sec B. Uh, Aniline, good AM. What is your advice for ATN if average price is 113? So, ATN... At 1.13. So, let's talk about that in a while. Annie. Was that Annie? Yes. Annie Lynn. Ron Villanueva. Good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Pa shout out po sa... Ay, Annie Lynn. Um, yung question mo, very good. Uh, topic natin kasi ngayon is the... Ano, is risk management, right? Ron Villanueva. Good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Pa shout out po sa Discord group. Chat group, especially Marrojas. Tatay Digong. Antonio Trillanes. Bongbong at iba pa. Dito lang yata nagtutulungan... Lat ng politiko. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't joined the workshop yet, I mean the workshop, sorry, uh, the chat room yet. This is the chat room sharing my screen to you right now. Uh, and dami dito. Um, I understand people are using aliases and dito sila Maroha, sila, uh, what they call this, sila Trillanes. Dito nagtutulungan ng mga politiko. Um, those are their cover names. But yeah, I assure you guys, walang hypes as much as we can. We control uh, everyone here. Walang bashing, nothing, uh, walang, walang hilaan, pababa, right? Um, this chat room is purely about helping one another and keeping trading fun, right? While you're trading, alam kong boring kung ikaw lang trade And this chat room will help you a lot. So if you haven't joined the chat room yet, please download Discord and on the video description, nasa baba, um, andyan yung link ng Discord group. There's the invite link right there. Look for it and then just cop copy and paste the link to your browser. And then you should be able to join the Discord group. Um, this, will, this, will, this will help you very much. The main chat room is here. Here is where the people share their ideas, um, charting discussions. This is where other good traders help other newbies. Nagtutulungan sa charting, right? Um, people help with charting here. Um, dito yung mga guides, uh, books. If you need books here, my recommendations are here. Motivational quotes and jan. Um, we have a Middle East group. Um, Singapore traders, ito yung mga parang faction. Kasi iba yung oras nila. So, nagchat-chat sila off hours ng mga traders. So, dito sila nagchat-chat sa mga off hours na trading. Right? So, yeah. Um, especially PSC Daily Updates. This is always updated. Kanila lang 821. May nilabas si Matro. Global Holdings. Na mga ano, na mga, what they call this, na mga news. Nakikita nyo dito while trading. So, at least while chatting, while trading, makikita nyo yung updates. All by, uh, ma kagad. Right? So, please join the chat room. This is very helpful, especially to newbies. Um, asa na ako? Um, yeah. Balik ako sa face ko. Ayan, Fantas Kid Rock Fist. Uh, good morning, Sir ABG. ABG, let's talk about ABG. Right? Uh, ABG uh, started strong yesterday. But at the end of the day, went down. Pero nag-bounce naman after. So, we'll talk about that in a while. Honey Kabigting, good morning, Sir. Uh, Coach and Laika, thank you. PX, PXP, Vulpo. PXP and the, is there. And Vulcan is, yeah. Very bullish for in sa Vulcan. Grabe. Edric Joseph Picones. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Adrian Belieca. Maganda umaga, Sir Lloyd. Ano po insights nyo kay Costco, DMW, Costco, DMW. Ayan, medyo mataas-tas na yung list, ha? So, ATN. Thanks and God bless. And Mel Sisiban. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Master Lloyd from JR. Anong online broker yung may live feature ng mahabang market depth? Five rows lang kasi sa call. Si Timson, mahaba yung market theft ni Timson. But, I don't know if you can open Timson. Uh, if okay lang sa inyo yung opening ni Timson, op, um, Timson shows very good market depth. I think Phil Stocks also do, does it. Mas mura mag-open kay Phil Stocks. Right? So, if you're looking for an affordable broker like call na kaya yan, I believe Phil Stocks can do that. Please correct me if I'm wrong, Phil Stock holders. Um, if you can answer JR, uh, please do. Right, ang alam ko si Timson eh, kasi I have Timson and I can see that. Brian Balilahon, good morning sir, good morning then. Rodel Dionaldo, good morning sir, STR. Yeah, we'll talk about STR. Michelle Obaldo, good morning sir. And si Mitch, Michelle Obaldo is one of my Batch 1 students, right? Speaking of students, guys, um, 
I have workshop avail workshops available this ano this weekend Friday and Saturday that's 11 p.m. right uh, that's a special session kasi ni request yung mga kapatid natin mga OFWs as, uh, especially from the Middle East yung mga nasa UAE Dubai uh, KSA ano not KSA um yung mga nasa basta around that area yun yung request nila, ganun na oras. So, that's why it's at 11 p.m. But, uh, you can also join. Kahit wala kayo sa wala kayo sa UAE. Alright? It's still open for you if okay lang sa inyo yung 11 p.m. If you wanna join that, please uh, send me a message sa Facebook ko. Alright? I'll give you the details of the workshop. Meron siyang bayad, right? Just in case, heads up lang sa mga tao. Meron siyang bayad, but it's the cheapest workshop you can find out there. It's not just the cheapest. It's way cheaper than the others, right? It's a way for you to invest in yourself and at the same time helping the channel. If you want to help the channel, help me continue this program and in invest in the workshop and you can help me in return so that uh, to keep this program alive. Right? Mind you guys, wala ako sweldo dito. Right? This is the, the daily grind and even helping the others is for free, right? So I will I am asking for your help, right? And there's a way to help by investing in yourself. Join the workshop, please. Right? Um it will be a very good investment. Don't take my word for it. Tingnan niyo po yung mga testimonials ng mga students ko. It's at the Facebook uh the Financial Freedom 101 Facebook page and dun sa ratings makita yung testimonials. So please join that. October 14 I'll be in Bacolod, right? Um se, uh and yung poster niyan. Send me a message if you're interested. October 20 there's an organizing group Jan sa Manila who invited me to be a speaker and um, please check it out also October 20 right mura lang yung seminar doon on Manila October 20 so check that out also yon um Master Lloyd, anong online broker? Nasa na ako? Uh, good, Jerome Mendoza, good morning. Mga risk takers, ha? Uh, Brian Balilahon, good morning. Rodel Jonaldo, yan. Mitch, Michelle Obaldo, good morning, sir. Si MPI po, good na ba ang price action? Let's check out MPI in a while. Kasi gusto, isa yun sa paborito kong stocks si MPI. Right. Mitch, um, sulat ko si MPI, ha? Um, daanan natin mamaya. Right. Because I'm still M in MPI. You've seen my port. May hawak ako MPI. Yan. But I'm there for long term naman. Um, yon. Good morning, uh, JR. Insights po kay Bloom, STI, ALI, ISM. Yan si ISM. Pag-usapan din natin. Si Bloom. Yan si Bloom. Andiyan na. Right. So, Lester uh, Afuang. Right. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning then. Ray Darwin Dantes. Uh, good morning, Sir. Naka-polo shirt po tayo ngayon. Ha? <laughs> Naubos na yung damit ko. <laughs> Naubos na yung t-shirt ko. Right. So, naka-polo shirt ako ngayon. <laughs> Alan Ibarbia, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning then, Fernando Tablate. Sir X, please, yan. Si X, nasusulat na ba yan? Alright, ang nakasulat kay X, um, iwanan nyo na si X. De, de, magaling, maganda ang galaw ni X the past two days. So, it's very good. It's a possible reversal for X. Let's talk about X in a while. Marisa Yap, uh, good morning. Uni, un, uh, uni Nani, alright. Good morning, Sir Bloom and PHA. Let's talk about PHA. And andyan naman yan, stop picks lagi si PHA. So, yeah. Um, Steve Gordon, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning din. Lakas ng galaw ni Bloom, Bloom kahapon eh. Right, Christian Joseph Mikwa. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. ATN, TBGI, and Popey. Popey. Popey, andyan naman sa list na si Popey. Right, so, okay na si Popey. Pag-usapan natin yan in a while. It's 8.34, so basahin ko muna yung mga greetings and the requests as much as I can. Sir Lloyd, MRC. Yan, si MRC nandyan pa rin sa top picks. MRC is... Ah, uh, we'll talk about that. It has a very beautiful chart. Ang ganda ng galaw ni MRC kahapon. Peter Tan, good morning. Um, we're gonna be talking a bit about Fibonacci then. Mga cover natin yung Fibonacci retracements with MRC's movement. Right? Art Baran Dino, good morning, sir. ATN and SMPH, please. Alright, nasa lista na yan. Peter Tan, good morning. Richard Cabico, good morning po. Sir Lloyd, good morning then. Aldon Tunyakao. May buntag, master yan. May buntag then. Carlos Haino, um, good morning, sir. Lodi, MPI, and Or. And Jan, si Or. And guys, um, I have an insider kay Or, right? Um, if you wanna believe me or not, it's up to you. But yeah, I am a holder of Or, especially now na mura si Or, right? Um, maraming coming up na project si Or. And the fundamentals of the company is getting better and better, right? Malayo layo mararating ni Or, right? Rain, heyo, Jo, right? Uh, sorry, makiat. Sayang kumuna, right? Mas inaabangan ko pa tong live kaysa mga palabas sa TV. <laughs> right? Dapat lang, right? Um, you know that um, 
this is from Rain J. Oh, yeah, I want to talk about this while meron pa tayong oras, right? <clears throat> um, look, um, looking at programs like the, these, dapat ito yung tinitingnan nyo instead of watching TV na yung mga teleserye which will just waste your time, right? These programs like the Daily Grind, marami pang iba dyan, will help you uh, This is ano eh, this is information di ba na useful right this will help you in earning money so dapat ito yung mga progress na tinatangkilik ninyo um, also business news have the uh, practice what the rich people do right sabi nila to become successful you have to fake it till you make it right fake it till you make it hindi ibig sabihin ng fake it till you make it is um bili ka ng fake na relo or mahal na relo para at magmukha kang mayaman no that's not it fake it till you make it as a rich person right fake it meaning we'll talk about traits right the trait of a rich person or a successful person is he, he reads yung mga binabasa nila <clears throat> Time magazines, um, business magazines. Uh, pinapanood nila is um, news, right? business news, business updates. These are the traits, these are the practices of a rich person. And if you're a poor person, I know this is not your trait too. But you have to fake it till you make it. Right? Try to do these things that rich people do. And these are one of the programs that they usually watch. Hindi nga lang yung program ko kasi if mayaman na sila, meaning magaling na sila mag-trade or not. But this is for newbies, right? But uh, uh, yun, um, that's what fake it till you make it w- means, right? So start um, changing your routine, your practices, and do the practices of the rich people. successful people and that's how you fake it till you make it right uh, there's a saying that says uh, if you want to be uh, successful in something then be with people who are already that because your standards become like theirs right kahit hindi mo sila normal na mga kasama you have to fake it till you make it you have to join them para yung mga practices nila makita mo, masusunod mo, and then your standards become of theirs. Uh, I was a, a victim. May oras pa naman tayo eh, so I'll just wa- I just wanna talk about this in a bit. Um, <clears throat> I was a victim of this before. I wasted so much, uh, many years of my life because of this. <clears throat> I worked in a call center, diba? You, everyone knows that. Nothing against call center agents. So I spent so much time with my my peers, my fellow agents. <clears throat> and if agents, kasi, kasi sila yung mga kasama ko lagi, And their standards for success is becoming a manager para sa grupo ko noon. Becoming a manager sa call center is a sign of success. So, yun yung naging symbol ko for success. So, I did my best to become a manager. And so, for how many years I did that, I did become a manager just to realize na it's still another job. And that's not really my goal to become successful, not become an employee, right? That's not my real goal. But because I spent so much time with my peers, and yun yung success levels nila, yun, yun yung criteria na for success, yun yung, naging, uh, yun yung naging standards ko for success also. But if you spent time instead of people who already are good, who are already successful, you see that these, uh, you see that iba yung ano, standards of su- being successful nila. If you want to be a good basketball player, don't play with your friends na mediocre players because you're just gonna be as good as mediocre players. Play with the best players and you can be, uh, may standards ka na to beat the best players and you become one of them, right? That's um, a little lesson about becoming successful. Spend time with those people who actually already are. Right? Kung gusto mong maging mayaman, then spend time with people who are who are rich and ask them and check out what they are doing right so yun naging madaldal na ako <laughs> right so yeah it's time it's already 8.40 we have to start the program now para ito sa mga nag-watch na replays um, please share the video before we start and also we want to thank Tutaid Asia as our sponsor uh, they're, they've been helping us in our uh, what do you call this in our goal in financial freedom 101 to teach people uh, in obtaining their dreams and becoming financially free right Tutid Asia check it out at tutidasia.com if you're looking for a broker uh, which is fast and reliable and will let you trade anywhere anytime check out Tutid Asia tutidasia.com also eToro guys um a little plug um eToro um I opened a new trade kay eToro I want to show it to you 
Wait. Um. Ah. Uh, not not Bitcoin. I didn't open a Bitcoin trade. But yeah, look at Bitcoin. It's at a very solid support, and that's at a higher low already. That's a buy signal for me. But I'm not trading Bitcoin. My portfolio is this. I just opened Alibaba, and it's already starting to earn. So if you have been copy trading me, na you we're all you are already earning with me. But for those who haven't started copy trading me yet, um, please create an Etoro account. There is a way for me. To lift you up with me, right? I can share to you my expertise in trading by becoming your what do you call this? Uh, fine. Uh, your tawag jan. Um, basa ako maghandle ng funds niyo. Fund manager yon. I can be your fund manager through Etoro. So whatever I earn in the future, you're gonna be earning too. And my positions are already earning. You can see that on your screen. So just copy trade me, right? The initial, uh, yung initial na um investment. Okay, copy trading is just $200, right? You can test it out for $200. Now, if you uh, find it good, right, you, then you can just add. I understand Filipinos don't want to go all in right away. So, you can test it out. I There's for, a way for me to help you in earning yeah, by just managing my ports, right? So, this is a way for me to help you. Let's get rich together nga, diba? And this is a little way of saying that we can get rich together by copy trading me right so check out eToro please create an eToro using my uh, link below and then um look for my profile El Bazaar and you're going to see my my stats here you just go to El Bazaar you can see my um stats right here and my, red itong red na ito, I was copy trading other people I wasn't trading them yet but July and August and September I've already concentrated on trading especially the September and then yun kumikita na and I am now available for copy trading I have already 26 people copying me and if you copy trade me you will be earning my the same uh percentage on my future trade so I um whenever I open a new trade your your port will follow it and then kikita kayo at the same time so check it out there's a way for me to be able to help you especially for newbies na walang oras mag trade or really don't know how to trade let me do the trades for you ako na bahala sa inyo right and you, you have the funds but you don't know you don't have the time this is a very good option for you again so um please share the video now we're gonna be talking about uh risk management right this is very very important for newbies especially not just for newbies even if the good traders i also i still practice uh what they call this um risk management why because risk management um our goal in stock market really in trading is really to increase our um palaki natin yung pera natin not to lose money that's not our goal that's why we always have to look for positions na mas malaki ang rewards natin kaysa sa the risk we are taking right so um there's a saying that says if uh how do you uh, na, ganito, let me organize my thoughts muna. Right, so now the first step of what they call this of risk management is knowing who you are, right? Knowing your uh your profile in the stock market. Who are you? Are you an investor? Are you a trader? Are you a swing trader or position trader? Are you a momentum trader or intraday trader? You have to know this really. There's a saying that says if you don't know who you are. The stock market is a very expensive place to find out. And this is very true. Nangyari na ito kay Bicor, nangyari na ito dati kay Now, right? The history of Now, if you have joined the stock market already before February, the story of Now, um, ang daming pumasok sa stock market kasi na-hype kay Now. Sabi nila, ang bilis ng pera kay Now. So, I wanna trade Now for instant money. And then, yun, kakapasok pa rin nila, di ba? Mga newbies pa lang, tapos gusto nilang mag-trade. So, they wanted to trade Now. Nandun, nung bumagsak si Now, ang daming naipit. Right? Naipit. And that's the market telling you that you are an investor in a very expensive manner. They realize that they are an investor kay Now in a very expensive manner. Right? So, that, Quote is very true. Same with Bicor. Nag-sealing ng long araw sa Bicor. Ang daming pumasok, ang daming humabol, nang biglang bumagsak. And ang daming nang ipit. Right? Naging investor bigla kay Bicor. That's the market telling you that you are an investor in very expensive manner. That's why you really need to know who you are. Plan your trades. Ganito yan. Plan your trades and then know your risk appetite. Right? Plan your trades meaning if you want to get in, you have to be very specific when you enter a stock. Why am I entering this stock? Am I entering this as an investor? Kasi pag investor, okay lang umakyat bumaba yan. Right? As an investor or as a trader. If I'm getting in this stock as a trader, then I have to plan my exit and my take profits. Right? 
And then know your risk appetite also, right? Your risk appetite is are you a very risky person or are you kind of um, parang in the middle or are you a very safe player or very, very, very safe player? Meron nga mga ganun. So what does that mean, right? Um, ganito kasi yan, a risky trader sa isang, for example, ito yung mga nagka-catch ng bottom, di ba? So kaka bagsak lang and then the price suddenly goes up for one candlestick and then they will enter that that's catching falling knives that's a very risky trade right so you're being aggressive there you're an aggressive trader pag pumasok ka dyan, the advantage of that is yes pag umakyat then you're already in the trade uh, uh, you're already in the trade very well um, malaki yung kikitain mo right other other ano naman other approach is a more conservative approach which is nag-aantay pa ng mga confirmation pangalawang green before you really wanna get in new others are very very conservative na tatlong green pa inaantay before they really wanna get in so it has its advantages and disadvantages you have to know that by heart right um ang disadvantage ng being aggressive is what if nagbounce lang siya pero at the end of the day bumagsak you have to realize that that's the disadvantage of being aggressive. The advantage of being aggressive is what if it magtuloy-tuloy because you really don't know what will happen in the market. What if magtuloy-tuloy then you're already at the good position. Remember STI? Ang daming sumag uh, sumaluki STI sa baba and then if they did that, imagine their position now. Diba? Ang ganda. So that, those are the, that's the advantage of an aggressive trader. But you know, you have to know who you are. Are you an aggressive trader or not? Because if not, then wag mo na pipilitin mag aggressive because you most probably you don't know the strategies applied for an aggressive um aggressive trader right so yan um and then there are people who are uh also yung yung risk appetite nila is not too aggressive they need to wait for one more confirmation before they want to get in diba so dalawang green candlestick usually just to, before they get in advantage of that is Yun, you're at a much safer position kasi makikita mo talaga yung price action na totoo. Um, but the disadvantage of that is what if tulad ni TUGS or tulad ni STI na ang bilis gumalaw in just one day. Right? So, yun yung disadvantage. Baka may iwan ka na kasi baka sobrang lakas naman ng galaw. There's an in-between strategy of that. There's that end of the day traders na within the day, antayin mo lang talaga yung na mag-solid na green siya before you wanna get in. But you get my you get my point, right? You have to know your uh your I uh, know you have to know your risk appetite before you wanna get in a stock, right? Alamin mo ano risk appetite mo, cause there are strategies uh, that is gonna be applied to that. That's the advantage of disadvantages of uh those um uh, kind of traders the risk appetites that you have. Now, let's talk about um risk management in. Rewards, risk to reward ratio perspective, right? This is the central part of money management, right? Risk to reward ratio. Very important. Yan. You have to establish this practice if you're still a newbie, right? So the question is, how much are you willing to risk to earn this much, right? Let me let me pull up a chart. Um, for example, um, try not and see. Right, ito si ano, si JGS, right? I've been looking at JGS lately. Right, so ganito. Um we have a support right here kay JGS, diba? So we we were this is a good support for JGS. So you already have a good idea about where JGS is going, right? Because support and resistance, you know that it's support area, you know it's going to bounce and that support is holding. So you know already that this is this might get in. Right? So the first resistance ni JGS is most probably, count natin dito. This is a good resistance right here. And the position is right here. So, to, to check your risk to reward ratio, there's a way to check that. Let me just zoom in para mas klaro natin. Alright, um, i-ano ko muna si BB ha, tsaka si volume para hindi gano makita. I'm gonna be removing RSI also. Right, so now, here. So, this icon right here, this is the long position. This will help you uh, with your risk to reward ratio position. So, for example, at the current position ni JGS, you just click on the current position, and then this green and red bar, excuse me, green and red bar is gonna show up, right? So here you can drag the positions now to your resistance, and then your the red one, the red area is your risk, right? So you can adjust that. Let me just do this. You can adjust that. Kung saan ka mag Ka cut loss, 
right? You have to make it tight if you want to, depending on your risk appetite nga, eh, but the tighter it is, then that's good. Right, so that's the current position right here. So let me just drag this. So makikita nyo na ngayon ang risk to reward ratio ninyo. For, there's a chance to um, to win 2 pesos and 34 centavos, um, but your risk at that, that point is 0.91. Right, so your risk to reward ratio is more or less 3 to 0.5. That's 1 to 2.5, right? You uh, 2.3 and risk to reward ratio is 1 to 2.54, right? That's a good risk to reward ratio already. That's the least risk you can take, right? Yan yung as much as possible, least risk you can take. 1 is to 2, right? At least one part lang ang risk mo and then you can get twice of that in return. Yan yung pinaka minimum. Ang usual target ko is really is at around 1 out of 5, right? Why should your reward ratio be bigger than 1? Because at the end of the day, I tell you guys, managing your portfolio, it's not about winning 20% um, of the amount of your port. It's about winning majority of your trades. Kasi pag marami ang trades naman, mas mapapanalunan mo, unti-unting aakyat yung port mo. Right? Yun yung totoo. Yun yung katotohanan. So you have to focus more on winning more trades than losing. Right? And then if you have a 1 to 2 risk ratio, at least dalawang trades ang cover mo. Kasi what if sa isang trade mo na 1 to 2 rin na ratio, matatalo ka dyan, at least na-cover ng isang trade mo, ang talo mo doon. So at least 50-50 ka, ba? Kasi 1 to 2, ba? 50-50. What is the beauty of one having a risk to reward ratio of 1 point? 1 is to 5. This means that you have room for 50%, um, uh, 5, what do you call this? You have room for 5 trades na mali out of 10, di ba? So, if lima dyan ang magkamali sa, sa trade mo, at least na-cover ka na sa wins mo sa isa, di ba? So, that's, that's the beauty of having at least 1 to 5 ratio. As much as possible, hunt for positions that have 1 to 5 ratio. But if you want to get in in these positions right here, Nanalo ka na, and then nag-break out pa, di ba? So, these are, these are very good. At least here, mag-sell half ka na on your initial profit. That's the beauty about um, putting uh, risk-to-reward ratio, put, uh, adding it as your plan. It will force you to have a target, right? Kasi ang problema, if you don't have a target, pag nananalo ka na, tinggalin ko lang muna ito, right? The problem is, if you don't have a target, uh, let me go to price range, so nananalo ka na ng 1 point ano 1 point what they call this one ng 3% right um your or your original target was to win around 4 5% diba yun yung target mo what if at 2% 3% umaaksyon na siya bumaba right ang ginagawa ng mga tao is for example ang target mo is 6 uh, 8% right lagay natin 8% um pag bumababa na yun sa 4% if kasi yung target mo is 8% pero bumabagsak na siya ng 4%, isa-sell mo na yung position mo kasi you you tend to be greedy. Yan yung problema if wala kang target talaga. Right? Um, initial plan mo was 8% but if you if the stock goes down at around 4 to 4 5 4% 5% tumigil na siya. Ang ginagawa ng mga tao, especially newbies, binebenta nila yung position niya. Hindi niya na maxim hindi mo na maximize ang risk to reward ratio mo. Right? Retracements are part of your plans, right? That should be part of your plan. And then umakyat na umakyat pa siya. So this will help you set a target and then once na hit na yung target na yan, then ka magbebenta ng kalahati if you can, right? Um, once you're good at that, siguro in the future trades, even me, hindi na ako gaano nag-target nag profit. But part ng risk to reward ratio, nyo, um, part ng trading nyo, nyo dapat is the risk to reward ratio. It's very important. It's very integ integral in your uh, in your trading, right? If you if you stick to this system, eventually you're going to be earning more than you will be losing, right? Magfa-follow yan. So you have to check your risk to reward ratio before you enter the stock, right? Ang kagandahan nito, you can plan ahead sa stop loss ninyo, right? Tanuhin mo, how much are you willing to risk to earn this much? As much as possible, at least 1 to 5, right? 1 to 5 ratio. If hindi abot ng ganun, um, you can compensate at least wag kang bababa sa 1 is to 2, right? You have to earn more than what you're risking, 
That is the integral part of many money management. Our purpose in getting into the market is to increase our money, right? So the risking one is to one, right? For example, hahabul ka sa isang stock dito sa taas, hahabul ka dito, and then yung risk mo mas taas pa, kasi mas mataas pa kaya dahil sa uh, sa pwede mong mapanalunan, yun yung mga taong naghahabol, maraming newbies ng ganyan, hindi nagre-risk management. That's poor money management. Our purpose in getting the smart stock market is to increase our funds, not to risk our funds na one is to one, i-risk ko, parang gambling na yun, para ka na nang kakasino niyan. Right? Pag natalo ka, ubos yan lahat. Pag nanalo ka, times two lang. That's not our goal. Right? You have to look for positions na magaganda ang risk to reward ratios. You can use support and resistance for that. It's best to use that. Now, um, yan, about cutting losses. Let's talk about cutting losses sa risk to reward ratio ninyo. Right? You have to have cut losses. Especially if plan mo, I, I told you earlier, plan your trades. What is your purpose in getting in a stock? Are you planning to become an investor? Or baka napilitan ka lang mag-investor kasi naipit ka na. Right? That should not be your plan. Right? Your plan before getting in, magkano gusto mo i-risk? If ever natalo ka, then admit to yourself, mali analysis ko. Right? And then just go to another trade, look for another good uh, risk to reward ratio. If ever matalo yan, follow your plan. Right? Your plan should be cutting losses if you're trading. Right? Kasi if hindi mo sinunod yan, nako, ang gulo ng trading mo. Right? So you have to have cut losses. Right. Ang problema kasi pag nat- nag ano yan, bumagsak yung presyo na yan, let me get an arrow. Pag bumagsak yan sa support. And then isipin mo. Okay lang, hindi ko muna uh, hindi ko muna ikakat loss kasi meron pa namang ibang support dito, may secondary support naman dito. Yan yung uh, yan yung nasa isip mo. That's greed, right? That's being greedy because you still want to win in the on a losing position, right? Greed will keep you in the trade while it's going down. And then, pag bumagsak yan at nang bumagsak, the pain will keep you out, kick you out of the trade. Sa sakit nang naipit sa inyo, dyan ka magka-cut loss at wala na. Laki na ng talo mo. And then, that's not what trading should be about. Trading should be about increasing your funds, not hindi lumiliit ng lumiliit ang funds ninyo. Right? Because if your stocks, or if your portfolio right now is lumiliit, then that means you have poor risk management. Right? You have to always, always plan your cut losses. Cut loss is very important, especially in trading. Right? So, cut your losses. Plan B should only be cut loss if you're trading. Right? Plan A, get in a stock as a trader. Hopefully, it goes up according to your technical analysis. If it doesn't go, go up, then plan B, cut your losses. Hindi plan B maging investor. Please don't do that, right? Wag na wag yung gagawin niyan kasi pag sinimulan mo yan sa isa sa future trades niyo, ganun din ang gagawin niyo, right? Wag yan. Focus on doing the right thing. Cutting your losses and trades is doing the right thing, right? Wag yung focus niyo is ang focus ko magpumasok sa stock nito, mag-earn ako ng 20,000. Eh, hindi pa ako nakaka-earn ng 20,000, hindi ko muna hindi ko muna bibitawan kasi baka umakyat. Yung baka na yan, ang daming tal, ang daming ang daming naipit diyan dahil sa word na baka. Never. It should not be part of your trading plan yung baka na yan. Right? Just cut your losses and then admit to yourself. Malika, then just move on and then move to a different trade. Right? Plan B should always be cutting your losses. Net. Um so, cut, uh, looking, um, talking about cutting your losses, ano ba yung ikakat loss natin? Right? How, how much do you want to cut loss? Is it 3%, 5% below your current position? Usually, I cut my losses below, uh, 3% below support. Yan yung ginagawa ko. But, if ever, um, yung stock naman is very, what they call this, is very stable. Like, for example, si Poopy. During this point, um, let me pull up Bollinger Bands. Yan. Turo ko sa inyo, di ba, si Bollinger Bands. You can check the volatility of a stock kay Bollinger Bands, right? If ever naman, napaka-stable ng stock, you can have your cut loss at around 1 to 2% below support. Yan. Pwede kayo maging mag-tight ng stop loss. But the stock, if the stock is volatile, um, pwede kayo mag-cut loss eh, tulad nito. Mas malayo-layo. Not more than 1 to 2% kasi... Um, pag volatile naman na stock right here, pag volatile, bumabalik naman yan eh. 
right? Malaki ang chance na babalik ang stock pag volatile. So you can move your cut losses further. But if ever yung yung stop loss ninyo is I um, mean if the stock is very stable right now, these are the moments that you can what do you call this? You can use tighter stop losses like 2% below support, 1% below support pwede yan pag napaka uh, stable na stock. But usually sa with the volatility of Philippine stock market kasi wala tayong stop lo- um, wala tayong short selling pay. Um, short selling is coming. But since wala pa tayong short selling, napaka volatile ng pagbagsak ng stock, right? So yeah. Um as much as possible, I consider it uh, I consider the stocks volatile sa stock market. So yung stop loss ko sa stock market natin is around 3 to 5%, 3 to 4% below support, right? Um, foreign markets mas mas tight ang stops ko kasi hindi naman gaano volatile ang foreign markets uh, right, like these guys right here um, look at that magkano ang isang if makita niyo na si China magkano ang ano ni China magkano ang volume ni China i can't see it here but yeah this is China's index napakalaki ng volume ng mga yan so hindi ganong volatile volatile ang mga foreign markets so you can um, you can you can use tighter stop losses but on the Philippine market stop losses should be uh, uh, you should have enough room sa support because the vo- uh, the stocks are very volatile again um, risk management is very essential to your trading trading our goal is should be um, to increase our money Yan, yun yung money management natin. Dapat lumalaki ang port natin, hindi lumiliit ng lumiliit. And how do you do that? Have a healthy uh, uh, risk management. Right? Stick to your stop losses and then before you went, go in, plan your trades. Planuhin nyo magkano. The question is, how much am I willing to risk to earn this? Right? At least have 1 to 5 as much as possible. Whenever you can trade, at least 1 to 5 yung risk to reward ratio mo. So meaning if 1 to 5, for example, kanina, um, ito, ito ngayon, si Popey. Right? So we have a support right here. The current position is here. Um, let's go for long position. Right? This is the position right now. So if you, this is you, how much you're willing to risk, you have to have at least ganito. I mean, just move it here, right? So, 5 is to 5, right? You have to have 5. 1 is to 5. 5.5, yan. 1 is to 5. So, yan yung target profit mo as much as possible, right? If ever the resistance is lower, if ever mas, mas lower naman your resistance, hindi mo kaya maabot yung, eto, sakt perfect, right? Um, The current position of, uh, hindi, hindi pa pala. The current position of Popey is around, Four point, uh, 1 is to 4.5 right you can kung gusto mo mag one, mag stick to 1.5 you can risk lower amounts pero uh, so what to do that you can keep your stop loss tighter if you want to but again market ng PSE is very volatile so i usually uh, um i usually uh, i usually cut loss around 2 to 3% below support. So, you can use this as your support. At least, your ratio ko dito is 1 is to 3. Makikita nyo, yung pag 3 yan, that means 1 is to 3. So, my loss risk is 1 and then there I can triple my risk and win at as high as this one right here. So, that's a healthy risk to reward ratio sa PSE. As much as possible, 1 is to 5 and dito yung 1 is to 5 but we can't always have that, right? So, um, 1 is to 2 as is the very least you can have. As much as possible, 1 is to 2. Hanggang dito, if this is your win right here, yan, you have risk to reward ratio of 3. That's good. Uh, but if you ca- if you want, if you don't want a very tight stop, pwede mo pa imbaba dito. So this is where you cut loss, right? I'm, I want to risk 1%, uh, one, 1 part, and then double that. This, this is 1 to 2. So this is where you cut your losses. You have to plan your cut your losses. So 2.4 to 3, magka-cut loss na ako because that's the risk I want to allow myself for this trade kung konti lang naman ang mapapanalunan ko. Right? If you don't want to risk 1 is to 2, then you can go with 1 is to 3 dito. So, this is where you cut loss, 2.5. Right? So, ganyan ang ginagawa mo before you enter the trade. Right? You have to always plan your loss, uh, your cuts. Right? So, now, yan, um, that's it for risk uh, risk management. Uh, I wanna go to my recommendations muna before we wanna go to the, ano, what they call this? Uh, to the requests, let me just. Asan yung notepad ko for the re- um, recommendations ko? 
I think I lost the notepad. It's bad. Right. Sorry about this, guys. I lost my notepad sa mga request din yo. So, I guess... Ayun, ayun, ayun. It's, it's here, it's here. Ayan. So, sa bagger picks natin, let's talk about our bagger picks. Uh, PHA. Kamusta natin si PHA? Uh, still, I wanna recommend PHA. Load chart layout. Ayan. Let's go to PHA muna. PHA. And si PHA, still wanna recommend PHA. Not just of the price action. Maganda yung price action niya. Pataas naman yung price action. But the fundamentals of PHA is getting better and better. Maganda si PHA. So right now, it's at a very cheap position. Nagsistabilize naman siya. So if you wanna get in, yes, you can get in there. And then plan your stop loss lang if you wanna get in. PHA, CPG. Si CPG naman. Ayan. Nagre-retrace. So this is our opportunity to look for a buy more position pag may nakita tayong bounce dyan that's an opportunity to buy more kay CPG next up is MRC si MRC yun I wanna talk about this this is a very good position for MRC right si MRC I understand nagre-retrace si MRC marami natatakot kasi akala na reversal na yan so to know if it's a reversal there's a way to do that Fibonacci so a little discussion about Fibonacci di ba so last swing low niya was this one right here and then you go to the last swing high. This is a short-term perspective for uh, for Fibonacci. Yung iba naman gumagamit ng dito pataas dyan. That's a longer perspective. You can use Fibonacci on a shorter perspective. I wanna uh, hide BB for now. So right now, look at that. Where is the sweet spot of Fibonacci? It's at 0.618. So in this short move right here, Sancha, look at Sancha nag bounce. 0.618. That's the best spot to catch Fibonacci. And we have a confirmation right here. Doji siya, but that confirmed the 0.618. Pag na green yan, that will be your entry point. So this can be your support on the short term. That 0.618 uh, mark right there. Napakaganda ng bounce right there. So if it bounces and hindi naman tumagos, that means hindi siya reversal. It is a, it is at a very critical spot. So pwede nyo, nang, uh, pwede nyo itest ito if you're an aggressive one. If you are a concern conservative person, antayin mo muna yung bounce that will confirm this bounce right here and pwede na kayong mag-buy more kay MRC, right? It is up to you if you wanna be aggressive or not, right? If you wanna be aggressive, please follow your strategy of cutting your losses. Kailan, um, if you wanna be aggressive, make sure you can watch the market full-time within that day, right? So that's MRC. Hindi pa siya, um, hindi siya reversal and it's a very at a very good spot to uh, f to bounce, right? So, for me, um, antayin lang ko lang yung bounce yan before ako pumasok kay MRC. But yeah, I'm still recommending MRC. ISM, also, doing a retracement right here, that's a healthy retracement for ISM, especially that the market is down. So, ISM is still a buy for me. If we can see a higher low, then that will be very good, a very good entry for ISM. ABBA, ayun, si ABBA, good job sa mga pumasok kay ABBA kahapon. They won how much? Uh, 7.41 just for yesterday but I've been calling out ABBA at this support right here. ba? Sabi ko, dyan pa lang pumasok na kayo dapat and then you could have won from that position. Umabot siya ng as high as 15% already in just how many days. So, good job sa mga pumasok kay ABBA. Right? So, mga happy na, we are at resistance level. So, konti ingat lang muna. If it fails to break out pa rin today, you can sell half at least and then just buy more on a higher low if ever mag-uptrend na naman si ABBA. ABBA, I'm recommending ABBA because of the improving, what you call this, improving uh, technical and I mean fundamentals of ABBA. This is the reason why I recommended WIN before because WIN has been showing us very good fundamentals right uh, lately. Dito, nirecommend ko si Win dito. And Win here again. Uh, I forgot. Saan ko na, na ulit, ulit na recommend. Ayan, dito and then dito. Dalawang beses ko yung nirecommend si Win. First time was here. Um, this spike cost me to, uh, this spike, uh, what do you call this, uh, fueled my interest in Win. Right? Tinignan ko si Win. Consulted it with my friend and he told me that Win's future is getting better and better. That's why when this happened right here, I recommended Win. And then this here again, and then yun, umakit na. And then win, hindi yun naman forever yung uptrend. So right now, nagre-retace si win. And now, look at this right here. One of the, uh, this is one of my regrets. I missed win kasi tinanggal ko siya sa lista ko. But look at the price action of win. Meron na pala siyang uh, engulfing the other day. And that's a very good sign kay win. So right now, medyo mataas na si win. Let's just wait for a retracement. This can be a reversal already. The short-term downtrend most probably will be broken anytime soon. So, until and a retracement, if it shows a lower, uh, higher low, then that's our entry point kay win. But yeah, same with ABBA. 
Same with Win. That's why I'm recommending ABBA. Paganda ng paganda ang fundamentals ng mga company na ito. That's why it's winning. Next up is OR. Um, OR, uh, insider news tayo. Yes, OR is have uh, has good uh, projects coming, lined up. So, maganda pa yung position na yan kay OR. Sorry. Iba yung naano ko. So, we are at buy more levels kay OR. So, I will strongly recommend buying more kay OR. Especially pag nag-pounce yan. That will be good for OR. SSI naman. Si SSI, yep. Um, when it hit the resistance levels, nag-retrace naman. But yeah, antayin lang natin yung confirmation ulit. Um, Mag-ipon kayo ng S SSI and where do you buy? Dito sa support niyang ito. Right? So, buy more as long as that support holds for SSI. CLI, yun, si CLI, doing good, doing better si CLI. Nag-sell off kahapon pero maliit lang even on, red, on a red market. So, people are already holding on to CLI and that's a very good area already for CLI for companies whose fundamentals are getting better and better. This is a very good price for CLI already. Um, IRC, let's talk about IRC. Bilisan ko lang ito guys, it's 9-11. IRC, um, pumupondo lang yung mga tao. And not really selling off, not really buying yet kasi nag-aantay pa sa news. But I think okay naman yung news. Napakaganda ng advantage ng IRC sa bidding. Kasi pag may nag-bid ng mas pababa, they have a chance to match that bid. So kahit tablahin lang nila, sila pa rin mapipili. So they get that priority. Right? So that's where IRC, antayin lang natin yung news. But I would say it's a buy there already. Use MA20 as your support. Uh, AC, yan. So AC, um, kahapon in, even on a red market, nag-sustain lang siya. Did retrace a bit but overall, napakaganda pa ng risk to reward ratio ninyo dito kay AC. There is a resistance, small resistance right here but I don't think that's very significant kasi napakaliit pa lang ng price range ni AC. This is just around 3% movement. Right, so pag nag-breakout yan, your possible reward ratio, reward is here, 9%. So 3 to 9, so that's 1 out of 3. Right, so that's your risk right there. 3% and then your reward is possible 9%. So 1 is to 3 reward ratio. So that's a very good risk to reward ratio for me. So just plan your trade if you want to get in AC. I am recommending AC for long term anyways. PNB. Ito si PNB. Ang ganda. Right? So we have 4 green candlesticks for PNB. That's a very good sign for PNB. And that means na natapos niya na yung downtrend niya. Right there. Um, PNB has been giving us good performances, especially in the second quarter. Ayan, nag-recover ng banks. It's not yet too late. You can use this support still. Napakaganda pa rin ng risk niyan. It's just 2.5% away from the support. If you want to check your reward, that's around, siguro, let's use this right here. Initial resistance niya. That's 8. So, 1 is to 4, diba? So, 1, uh, 3% to eh, diba? So, uh, you can use this. Ayoko na mag-math. You can use the long position if gusto nyo. Right there. Um, right, if you want to risk a bit more. So your ratio is 1 is to 3.12. So that's a very good risk to reward ratio for PNB. Right? Plus for a good company. And the banks now are already recovering. So that's good. Um, lastly, let's talk about MPI. There's a question about MPI kanina. If okay na ba yung price action ni MPI? I think it is. Right? Um, let's check out the, heart, the support right here. Right, so um, it's bouncing on this support right here. So that's good already. That's a confirmation of the support. Antayin lang natin yung isang green pa talaga to confirm the support. If you are, you know, I'm torn between being uh, aggressive and being, ano, especially for newbies. Kasi ako minsan, I'm an aggressive I'm an aggressive trader, especially on good companies, right? But for tra um, I have to be really careful because... I, I keep forgetting that the followers, yung mga nanonood sa atin, are newbies and they don't have risk management yet. So I don't really want you to be very aggressive as much as possible. Wait for a green candlestick before you really want to get in kay MPI. So wait for a green candlestick before you want to get in kay MPI. So we still have time, still 9.14. Um, I'm gonna go through the uh, questions ng mga tao. Yan tags, yan tags. I don't want you to buy tugs as of the moment, right? I kept telling you tugs is gonna bounce anytime soon, and ayun na yung bounce ng tugs, because fundamentally naman maganda si tugs, diba? But right now, napakataas na risk nyo, and look at the price action, nagsa sell off na siya, so it's forming a resistance right there. Just wait for the retracement before you really wanna get in. That's 24% rise already, right? And then your risk right there, if it goes back down to support, look at that, you're at risk of losing 20%, 19%, right? 20%. 
to support lang. What if hindi siya mag-sustain ng support? Fundamentals doesn't assure you that it's gonna hold a support, right? So, tags, konting ingat. Just wait for the retracement. Next up is IDC. Ayan, si IDC. Uy, look at that. Good price action. I guess IDC, if you're an aggressive, you can check out IDC today. Right? Very good for IDC. Let's talk about IDC today. Um, papanoorin ko to si IDC. I think it's gonna go up. Because this is good price action right here. Look at the sell-off. It's starting to slow down. And it form, it's forming a support. One, two, three. Three times already for three days, that support has held on. So that's good price action for IDC. So I think IDC anytime soon is gonna go up. RSI, healthy RSI naman si IDC. So that's okay for me. So yeah, IDC is a buy for me. If you're an aggressive trader, uh, just plan your cut loss, right? You know, sa mga conservative naman, especially to newbies, just wait for the bounce really to really, before you really wanna get in. But, um, yung mga magagaling kasi, alam na manood ng price action, that's already good for me. Right? IDC, um, asa na tayo? Um, PIP. PIP. Right? PIP, ayun, um, kind of shaky, right? Um, but PIP is, ano, PIP support, what they call this? Right, I guess okay naman si PIP. It's RSI is showing us somehow bullish pattern. Um, this is shaky for me. If, uh, kasi if, especially for shaky yung fundamentals ngayon ni, na, ni PIP. Especially the taxes. Madyo mahal ng sugar. So yeah, if you really wanna get in PIP, I recommend a sure reversal muna before we really wanna get in kay PIP. Um, I don't wanna recommend PIP as of the moment. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah. Uh, that's my two cents. I don't want to get in PIP as of the moment. STI naman, when you habulin yan, look at that. It's forming a resistance. Meron na tayong pin bar. Usually, this is a reversal sign. So, you sh I think this is gonna retrace anytime soon. So, antayin lang natin yung retracement before you really want to get in STI again. Right? So, STI, wait for the retracement. Masyado matas na yan. If you check out your risk to reward ratio dyan. Right? That's for STI. CLC naman, Yun, si CLC, unlimited downturn data to si CLC. Eh. Uh, CLC is, ano, CLC's fundamentals is basically good, but somehow it's going down. Right? So, hindi natin masi CC market. The market does what it wants to do. Right? Even on a fundamentally good company, um, stock can still go down. Right? So, CLC right now is still going down. So, I don't wanna recommend CLC for now, but look at the, ano, but look at the price action and RSI pataas na RSI. So, it's starting to go bullish. Anytime soon, I think CLC is gonna bounce, right? Um, I already gave you the cheat sheet for ano, for the RSI. Makikita nyo, yung presyo pa baba, but RSI is going up. Right there. The RSI is going up. If you can see that it's going up, let, let's let's use an arrow para makita nyo kung saan talaga papunta, right? So, it's starting to go up while the price is going down, right? So, CLC anytime soon that's gonna bounce but then again this is not foolproof right um minsan nagfi-fail pa rin yan so let's just wait for ano just wait for the uh just wait for the signal to buy kay CLC right there are people who like to catch falling knives yung mga aggressive traders yeah you, this can you, you they use these kinds of move uh, uh signals to catch falling knives so it's up to you but for me a CLC is still going down just anytime soon aakyat yan si CLC that's a very good company CLC. Um, next up, kay CLC is, ito lang, may request kanina na importante kay ATN. Um, she said that, uh, what are my takes on ATN? She bought it at 1.13. It's already at 1.13 also. Uh, price action-wise, bababa si ATN. It's because of the quarry scare. Um, I can blame on, on that. Right? So, medyo pangit pa ngayon ang movement ni ATN. Um, I've been vocal about ATN before. I uh, look at the RSI of ATN. It's getting healthier and healthier. So anytime soon, pwede na tayong bumili ulit kay ATN. Um, I did say that ATN is, if you want to approach ATN here at this level right here, approach it as an investor. If it goes down, um, plan ahead. If you're an investor, you should have planned ahead na mag-iipon ka to buy more ATN. You don't get rich with one time, big time. Right? Konti lang yung mayamin dyan. It's about volume. So, you have to buy more of the stock so that at a good position, pag umakit ulit yan, ang ganda ng position mo at mas malaki ang kikitain mo. 
right? That's how you get, uh, that's how most people get rich in stock market. It's about volume, right? So, dadamihan mo dapat ang hawak mong ATN. While it's cheap, that's good for investors. This should be a uh, time to celebrate pag bumababa si ATN. Because you can buy more. Then once it goes up, napakaganda ng projection ni ATN. Alam nyo yung projection ni ATN, di ba? How many years from now? 8 pesos, right? So if that happens, then you're at a very good position. And napakamura pa na yung ATN as of the moment. Right? So this is very good for ATN. So plan ahead. Again, risk management, what is your plan in getting in the stock? Are you planning to be an investor? If you're planning to be an investor, let it be. Wag lang muna kayo kung kakapasok mo pa lang. Wag malaking pera ka agad kasi it's still on a downtrend. Remember, the trend is your friend. And a downtrend is not your friend. So, wag ka mag-all in dyan, right? Kasi downtrend pa yan eh. Mamaya ka na magdagdag ng pera if uptrend na siya. The trend is your friend. At only, the stock becomes your friend only if it's already on an uptrend. Right now, wala pa tayong uptrend. So, stay light lang muna so that when the uptrend comes, you can buy more. Right? So, yan. Um, ATN, um, may nagtatangon ako about now, right? We, di- we were talking about now, di ba, before? Uh, this was a good area to buy kay now. This was the best area to buy, di ba? Meron tayong support dito, di ba? That's a very good support right there. That's a confirmation. That's the time to test it out. Ang ganda na risk to reward ratio natin dyan. Right now, now is going up, right? Malapit na yung reward na hinahanap ng now kung nga pumasok kay now. It's just doing a retracement. Yung iba kasi pag kumikita ng ganito, bebenta now. No, that's not your target. Your target was here. So, entayin mo lang muna. Right right now, now is doing a retracement and if it bounces at a higher low, that's an uptrend right there. Pwede mong pasukin. You can use that as your support if ever mag-bounce siya ng um, higher low. If you want to enter now. Right now, just wait for the bounce before you want to enter now. If it bounces at a higher low, most probably it's in an uptrend already. So, that's a good area to get into. As of the moment, wala pa. Baka bumagsak balik sa support, right? So, wag muna. Okay, now. Um, it's 9.21. Um, I'll cover the most that I can, okay? Bloom. Si Bloom naman, medyo mataas na yan. Right? Good job sa mga pumasok dito sa baba. It was forming a support. And the RSI was looking good already. So, that was a very good entry. So, good job sa mga pumasok kay Bloom dito. But as of the moment, that, these are exaggerated movements already. Let's just wait for it to retrace before you really want to get in. Your your target profit is here. So, your reward nyo napakalit compared to your risk. So, I don't want to get into these kinds of position anymore. So, Bloom, wait for the retracement lang. Um, next up is tech. And the tech. Right, so tech is forming a descending triangle. This is bad for tech. So let's wait for it to stabilize. Maybe it will hold MA20. Nasa MA20 tayo ngayon. Eh. If you want to enter tech, wait for the bounce and then use MA20 as your support. If ever it breaks down, then you just cut your losses. Right? Please do your uh, do your due diligence in the, in the position. <clears throat> tech, Ani. And si Ani... Yan, si Ani is hitting the resistance. This is why I did not want to recommend Ani anymore. Because yeah, that's already a missed opportunity. Let's wait for Ani to stabilize. Again, makikita nyo naman pag nag-stabilize yan, pag lumiliit yung Bollinger Bands. Eh. Pag nag-stabilize yan, meaning you have a strong support already. Wala pa tayong stabilization right now. So, wala pa tayong strong na support. So, I don't want to recommend Ani yet because that, that's at resistance levels. Um, PXP. But definitely, Ani, fundamentals, get look to get in Ani antayin nyo lang yung perfect timing PXP naman right so it did form a higher support right here so that's good for PXP if you're into PXP's um, anong tawag dyan um, speculative play then yeah that's a good entry point for PXP but for me napakataas na ng speculative position na yan kay PXP right so if you are if you're fond of it yeah you can buy as long as that support holds for PXP. Next up is PLC. Yan, si PLC holding MA20 pa rin. So, let's see if it's stabilized there. Buy as long as that MA20 holds pag nag-green yan. Alright, just wait for the confirmation. So, PLC is looking good. Um, still holding on to that MA20. Um, next up is Vita. It's 9.24 guys. So, last na lang ito. So, buy as long as that support holds for Vita. Yan. So, yeah. Um, I wanna go back to full screen. Right, so I hope you learned a lot today. Uh, we talked, we did talk about uh, risk management. It's very, uh, it's a very good practice, especially sa mga newbies. Please plan your risk. Magkano 
gusto nyong um, kitain and how much are you willing to risk for this win and if it ever if ever malus ka naman just take it as a man and then admit to yourself na you lost uh, you um, medyo may mali ka on this position and then just move on to the next position trades at least sa 1.5 or 1 to 2 and the next pag, na, pag next na position mo um, manalo ka you covered for that loss already and then may gains ka pa diba sa 1 is to 2 na ratio so always plan ahead um, workshops again this Friday and Saturday uh, it's at 11pm if you wanna join that I can teach you more it's a very good investment for you guys um, October 14 Bacolod I'll be there October 20 in Manila I'll be there live so check it out send me a message if you wanna join them that's it for today the last 5 minutes I give it to you as planning nyo sa stock market, again, plan your risk, plan risk, uh, plan your trades. Let's get rich together. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.